Hello everybody, this is Adrian from 3D Proto and today I'm going to print with some rather experimental material which is often used as support material, HIPS, High Impact Polystyrene. This material has comparable printing guidelines to ABS. This is the reason why it's mostly used as support material for ABS printings. It has mid warping effect and high break resistance. Additionally, HIPS can be dissolved in Lemony, but if you adjust your printer and also your slider settings properly, there should be just a small gap or just minor touching points between your support material and your model, so that you don't even need to use any kind of dissolver to get rid of the support material after the printing. Support material is needed when you want to print cavities without bridging, like the shell you see here. If you have a second extruder, the hollow space can be filled with support material. Here you see the slicer settings to generate support material. I usually print all my models with a layer height of 0.2 mm. For the hips, the print speed can be set to the printing speed you would usually set for ABS. For more precise printing, I choose a rather slow print speed. Slicer can be generate support material automatically. All you have to do is enable the corresponding checkbox. I usually use a rectilinear grid with a spacing of 2 mm and three solid interface layers. These are the layers between the support material and our model. For a solid interface you just need to set the interface pattern spacing to 0 mm. In the multiple extruder option you can choose which extruder shall be used for the support material and also the interface layer. The temperature can be set equal to ABS. I use two E3D V6 with a nozzle diameter of 0.4 mm and set the retraction to 0.5 mm each. You need to measure the offset of both extruders very carefully because slicer generates a little gap between the support material and our model and this is very useful for the separating of both materials without the solver. Now let's take a look at the generated G-code. While the layer height of the model can be adjusted easily, there is no possibility to set the layer height for the support material. The layer height is set accordingly to the used nozzle diameter. For my 0.4 mm nozzle, the layer height is set to 0.4 mm. And when I set the nozzle diameter to 0.2 mm, the layer height is also set accordingly. In worst case, due to rounding errors, there can be a little gap between the last support material layer and our model. Now let's see the printing. The hips I used had a very low oozing ability. This can be also due to the used color. Here you can also see the spacing between the support material and my model. There is a small gap between both. And now you see that the dissolver is not needed if you set your slicer settings and offset of the extruders properly. It is very easy to separate both filaments afterwards. But the gap also leads to imprecise printing layer on the support material. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon with more exciting printing activities with 3D Proto.